Uh, no, not particularly, but certainly um, people sense things and see things in the water. And because it's not far away from where three Catholic priests were hanged, drawn and quartered, actually on one of the bridges in 1588. So, uh, and the lady isn't the first person, to be honest. They, they, with these are the Padley Martyrs. That's correct, yes. Right, OK, where, is, uh, where are our friends here who saw something else? Right, uh, we have to squeeze right down here. Excuse me, excuse me. Right, OK, uh, what's your name? Ange. And Vicky. What did you two see? Um, on the webcams, on webcam one, there was an arm that came down and came back up again. Right at the beginning it was. And you both saw this? Yeah, saw did it. anyone else? Yeah. You saw that? Yeah. You saw that? Yeah. Anyone else see that? Put your hands up if you saw that. Can we investigate that? Julian, can we investigate that? Everyone, a lot of people seeing this arm on a webcam. What else have you got? Well, it, the webcams have been very busy tonight, actually, David. I just thought we'd talk to the interactive team who've been keeping an eye on the webcams. Webcam 3, Camelie's in charge of that one. How's it going, Camelie? Oh, it's good. It's been very busy tonight. Lots of people seeing two orbs in the room. Um, a man walking, pacing up and down the room. And they've all been seen in the doorway, particularly when the crew were in there earlier. Right. And then on webcam, the next one here, this is Dan. Hi, Dan. Which one are you in charge of? Uh, webcam 4. Right. What's been happening? There's, uh, there's been a lot of screaming, uh, a woman screaming, plenty of uh, reports from that, and we've had a dysfunctional couple going at it quite regularly. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Michaela, which webcam are you in charge of? <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. Um, <laughs> thank you, Dan. Right. Michaela, which one have you been in charge of? Um, I've been on webcam one, the large room. We've had lots of orbs and mists, just like on Camelie's webcam. Sightings of a man's face above the fireplace, a dark figure, and lots and lots of heavy footsteps. Really? Now, the bayonet, we're running this competition for the bayonet. Uh, we showed it to you earlier. It's just over here, actually. Let's have a quick look at it again. Um, have a look. Here it is. This is from one of the locations tonight and the question is can you think what that location might be you've been uh, texting us and calling us and here's some of the um, messages we've had the majority of people who responded are sensing a lot of pain and anger connected to the bayonet and think it was used in violent circumstances so far we've got three main trends on this coming in uh, people who think the bayonet was found maybe it was uh, used in a, a, a nasty situation Denise Evans has said a suggestion that ties all these kind of things together her son believes the bayonet was used by a soldier who killed someone in a fight and that the body was found in the river and maybe near the dolphin now Jane here has got some hot news on the bayonet just come in yes we just heard from John in Hitchin who's given us a full name connected with the bayonet and that's Charles Winston and Lindsay in Manchester tells, it, uh, tells us we ha it has some connection with a child. Right. And on the competition, by the way, 12,000 entries to come and see the show on Monday night, which is quite amazing. So that's the latest news from Interactive, David. Thank you very much indeed, Julian. Well, we're now moving to our next location. This is the oldest pub in Derby. It's called the Old uh, Dolphin Inn. And this is not only a pub, but it had a doctor's annex uh, added to it. And people were dissected there. People who were criminals who were taken there after they'd been hanged. Let's join the team. OK. Right, I think, yeah, we are ready. We're just coming up the, uh, just been coming up the server. Really steep stairs, actually. <laughs> I like them. We're coming up to the top floor here in the Dolphin Inn. Um, a lot of history here. Um, uh, it, it, it's going to be absolutely fascinating. I can't wait to investigate this place full, fully. So please join us after the break. The whole team is here. It's a new location and we can't wait to see what happens. So stick with us. to Most Haunted Live. Now, regular viewers will know that we never really know what's going to happen. There is no kind of script to this, and we never know when we investigate the various locations exactly what events will take place. Now, before the break, if you remember, we sent Helen, one of our audience who was picked by random, to go and investigate the silk mill with the rest of the team. Well, I'm pleased to say that Helen is back, but you're not in great spirits, are you? What happened? Um... All the time we were there, somebody was stood behind me in the corner. Just, just repeat that for us. There was something stood behind me in the corner all the time I was in there. How do you know that? You know when somebody's staring at the back of your neck and you can feel them and you have to turn to look? I couldn't not look away. 
And what did you what did you actually see? If you can speak up, I, I know I know you're disturbed by what you saw, but if you can just a dark shape, just a shadow, just a I don't know, but it, there was something there. You definitely felt there this presence. There was something there, and and he's not happy, and he doesn't want to be there, and he wants to leave. He's in pain. What do you make of that, David? Um, I think it's. It's perfectly possible. And, you know, like I said to you earlier about energy, one of the ways in which paranormal activity very often expresses itself is emotionally. And sometimes when you read for someone or you go into these areas, the first thing that hits you is probably exactly what you're feeling is the emotion of the situation because you feel tearful for the, the personality involved or you feel the emotion at their crossing. And emotion is, is one guarantee that you're picking up on something, I think. And what do you make of, of this, Matthew? I mean, Helen is obviously disturbed by what happened there. Um, well, exactly, yeah. I mean, it's quite clear Helen is disturbed by it. It's not an enjoyable experience, and I don't doubt at all that it's a genuine experience, and it's one that one you know, mustn't dismiss that and just say, well, okay, maybe it was just you know a trick of the light, or you're just kind of feeling a bit odd about it. Um, and it's difficult to find an explanation for it. It doesn't necessarily mean that it is paranormal. You know, what, what David suggested and, and what the usual context of these experiences is, okay, maybe it was a spirit. Are you accepting this could be paranormal? Uh, that's one possible explanation, yes. Um, I do find it very interesting. I find you know, it's worth exploring that location so again. So you can't rule out the fact that it might be paranormal? Of course you can't rule well, out Let's yeah. ask Helen. You're convinced this is paranormal? I'm convinced there was something there. You tell me. And has this ever happened to you before? Um, I saw my dad and we've had various things happen in the house, but... Oh, well, I, I can only say thank you so much for being brave enough to take part. Um, I'll tell you what, um, what I'd like to do, Donna, our floor manager, will take you away and look after you. And uh, there, we also have St John's Ambulance here, so they'll make sure you have a nice cup of tea. Ladies and gentlemen, please give Helen a big round of applause. <laughs> You see, this show, honestly, this show is extraordinary. Um, it's time now to move to our next location. It's the Old Dolphin Inn, and it's the oldest pub in uh, Derby. It was built in 1530 during the reign of Henry VIII. It's also had a, an extension which was added in the 18th century to the left side of the building, and it was a doctor's house. And what happened was it was customary for doctors to have bodies delivered to their house to be used for medical research. So what they would do is they would actually uh, hang a criminal and the body of the criminal would then be taken to the surgeons for dissection. And that happened before 1760. And what would often happen is that they were hanging and they may hang for 20 minutes on the back of a cart, be placed on the table for the doctor to dissect them and then they'd come round and be fully conscious to find the doctor putting the knife in. Let's join the team and see what they can pick up in the old Dolphin Inn.